Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we continue our Saints Spotlight with some of our outstanding student athletes here at Maryville University. And it's always great to catch up with the guys from the men's soccer team and especially their outstanding senior defenseman, Ewan Webster. Ewan, how are you? Uh, how's everything going the first couple of weeks of school? Yeah, doing good, thanks. Uh, you know, adjusting to the new uh, format of classes being a, a hybrid uh, course. So, but it's going good. You know, the teachers are um, helping us a lot and they're very understanding. And so it's uh, everyone, you know, it's a team effort to uh, keep everyone safe. The one thing that I'm asking everybody, and yeah, we're, we're back on campus and we're doing a terrific job with the students, you know, everybody. Uh, but, you know, in the spring when this thing, you know, just hit and we had to change gears and pivot to virtual learning. I think Maryville was in the forefront of that. Um, our, our, our students were absolutely prepared to go that direction and our faculty and staff was able to do that as well. What have, what's your thoughts after looking back on the spring semester and now looking at what we're doing with the hybrid scheduling here in the fall? Yeah, it just, it just seems like Maryville has really been prepared for any situation like this. Um, you know, we, we were in normal, uh, you know, school format before spring break and then after spring break, the, the adjustment was very quick and um, completely online. And, you know, there was some um, sort of like, you know, teething um, time for that. Um, but the teachers were all trained in the right way and the students were prepared in the right way. And, you know, our education could continue. And it was, it was, it's been so good throughout. So I'm just really grateful that Maryville is, is able to uh, prepare us all well. Yeah, absolutely. And so now we, we come onto campus. We're in week three, I believe. Uh, we should be getting ready to play some soccer matches, but unfortunately we're not doing that right now. We're going to uh, have soccer in the spring. So what are some of the things you as a senior leader for this team uh, been able to do over the summer to keep everybody engaged? And, and, you know, as we start to move forward here in the fall with off season practices to get ready for that spring schedule, what are some of the things that you've been able to do along with the other seniors to kind of keep everybody excited and, you know, kind of not thinking about, okay, we should be playing soccer here in the fall, but we're going to have that opportunity. Of course. Yeah. I think the most important thing is just setting our eyes on, you know, the goal um, whenever we're allowed to, you know, strive for that goal and play games in the conference. Um, you know, we've just got to keep our eyes fixed on, on trying to be the best versions of ourselves. And that's the thing that the coaching staff are continually trying to put upon us that, you know, all these challenges, we can see them as opportunities to, you know, get past and grow through. And so just, you know, using these uh, yeah, difficult times to uh, maybe adapt and grow in other areas, focus on our academics. Um, now we, we have less games, so we can really focus in the weight room and make some um, physical gains there. So there's a lot of, you know, different, challenges and opportunities in this time so yeah just using every moment we can to better ourselves as a senior the bar for the soccer program has been raised to un unbelievable heights how do you explain that to a freshman coming into this locker room with you guys you know a team that made it to the regional championship last year one game away from uh the national semifinal. what are the words that you're telling that the freshmen about the Maryville program and where where the next level is uh, because I know you guys aren't stopping at that level you want to continue to move this thing to a national championship definitely yeah so obviously in the spring we're not able to compete in the nationals so the aim number one is to win the GLVC regular season we unfortunately we were close but not quite able to do that last season so that's our number one aim um, and then obviously win the GLVC championship after that. That's got to be um, the second thing. And then looking on to next season, as you say, we really want to win a national championship. We, we believe we have the squad, um, the players, the coaches, um, everyone involved who's helping us. We believe that we're capable of doing that. Um, so going back to what I was saying before, like focusing on the goal, we're telling these freshmen our goal is to win a national championship. So every single day from now until next fall or the spring and then next fall we've got to be doing everything we can to to achieve that goal 
what were you able to do individually over the summer? I mean, obviously not a lot of places open, not a lot of, you know, workouts and that kind of stuff. So what were you able to do to keep on the top of your game and to be ready uh, once practices start here in the near future? Yeah, well, um, the coaches were, you know, doing their absolute best to try and give us as many resources as they could. So they made a lot of um, video content that we could use for specific individual player trainings. So I would, you know, pre well, I would go every day, twice a day um, to the field and just work on my, you know, specific strengths and then also work on my weaknesses and try and build them. And then when, you know, the health regulations um, relaxed uh, stage by stage, we were able to, you know, use them to our full advantage and train in small groups in social distancing and then we were able to um, gather, gather in bigger groups and less social distancing. So, yeah, it was just it was just a process of you know listening to the health authorities and doing our absolute best to you know maximize the resources we have. And a lot of discipline too, and that's the one thing a lot of people have talked about. You know, learning from home at the end of the spring last year, and then trying to figure everything out this summer, and even now, you know, with the hybrid schedule. You know, you guys are getting a lot of life lessons thrown at you, but I think the biggest one is just being, it's helping you be, uh, become disciplined with, you know, what needs to be done in what given order. Yeah, definitely. You know, if, you, if you're not attending school every day or you're not having um, your coaches as, as extra motivation every day, it can be easy to just say, oh, no, I, w I won't do that today or I'll take the day off or whatever. But, you know, yeah, as you say, discipline to, and find that motivation within you to say like this is a this is a brand new day it's an opportunity to get better and um, yeah to try and maximize any um yeah opportunities we have and just try and just try and continue to better ourselves no doubt about it all right here's the fun question and this is something i'm asking everybody everybody binge watch something mm -hmm. what did you binge watch while at home and you know, over the summer and, and maybe even now, I don't know, but what, what's something that you were be able to binge watch? Yeah. Um, so the one that I really binged was Ozark. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we watched that for, I think we probably watched like eight episodes in a day. That was our biggest binge. <laughs> and that was just, you know, when the quarantine was going on and uh, there's just nothing to do. That's what we did. So that was fun. And then recently, in the last couple of weeks, I was watching the Tottenham Hotspurs documentary. It's like a behind-the-scenes um, documentary of a uh, professional soccer club in the Premier League. Um, and you got to see, like, unseen footage of their, uh, you know, the locker room, the training facilities. And that's been amazing to watch as well. So there are my two. <laughs> well, I will tell you this much. I watched a lot of Premier League soccer. Yeah. And there was a point where I was waking up at six o'clock on Saturday and Sunday mornings to watch the early games. So I've become <laughs> a big BL fan over the last couple months. Yeah, definitely. It's worth yeah. it. Awesome, Ewan. Well, thanks so much for the time. We appreciate it. I know you guys are, are at the starting line, ready to get out and do some uh, practicing and start to work back into different things. But we're excited for the spring schedule and we're excited with what you guys are going to bring us, uh, you know, in a very busy spring here at Maryville. Yeah, we're excited too. Thanks, Jim. No problem. Ewan Webster from the men's soccer team joins us. And once again, our new series of St. Spotlights, we are checking in on, on some of our outstanding student athletes here at Maryville University. For you and I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week. And as always, go Saints.